Hello friends, in this video I will repair this parking blocker. Let's begin. I don't know if this device exists in your country, but in my country there are a lot of these devices because there are a lot of cars and few parking places. And that's why you need a device like this. As you can see, this device had a very very hard life because it's bended in all ways. This uh, reached to me because it's not uh, working anymore. It has a lead uh, battery like this, rechargeable lead acid battery, 6 volts and 7 amps. I put this uh, battery to charge and I check this battery and the battery is good. Let's connect the battery and let's see what happens. Now it's making some tests. Now the LED is blinking. And now this should do something to full closed or full open. I don't know if you hear the sound. First of all, I will test the motor and this power reductor with my power supply. I uh, will take this connector off because I don't know, I don't want to make some short circuit on this board. I have to increase the current. 1 amp it's not enough. I will put 2 amps. Two amps, it's not enough. I have to increase to three amps. Let's see now. Now on three amps, it's working. Now we know that this uh, motor, this power reductor, it's good. It seems that problem should be here on this board. I will take a close picture with this uh, board. I will put back this uh, motor connector and uh, these two wires of the motor are coming to these uh, identical relays. There are 5 volts relay. I will put the pins. So I think these two relays are connected in H bridge configuration. And now let's measure the relays. I uh, took the motor off power supply off. So these uh, middle wires it's the coil 
coil is good. So here in the right it's the output of the relay and here it's normal closed. This should be short circuit. This is a normal open. And now this is normal close, it's good. Normal open. Now I have to take out uh, this relays, put uh, voltage on the coil and check if uh, normal uh, open uh, wiring it's good but uh, i presume that the problem is with this relay because as you can see normal uh, close uh, connection it's not good. Let's take out this relay. As you can see, connectors are different colors. I took down this first relay and now let's measure. First of all, let's measure again normal closed position. This is the same wire, the output is good. Normal closed, it's not good. And now let's check normal open. The coil is good because I hear the click. In the output a normal open now it's good I will have to replace both relays because they are old and if I replace just the first one probably the second one will broke now let's cut this and see what we have inside. Now you can see what's inside this relay. I will look with the microscope. I think the problem is with this spring. because doesn't have enough power to lift in the up position. And now this is somewhere in the middle with no voltage here. This should be up in normal closed position and with the voltage it should be down in normal open position now i just have to order two of these relays and replace let's make some test with this lid open
I repaired the relay and I put it back just for test because I wanted to be sure that it works before I order new parts. Now let's see what happened. I will power up. It seems it's working. Now let's unblock. Let's uh, try this with power supply and after that I will check other relay. It seems that is uh, another problem because it's block but it's not unblock. Now I will check uh, other relay. So first one it this is normal close normal open. This one normal close it's working. I just have to check normal open. I made a lot of tests and it's still not working good. I replaced uh, these two relay with one another and uh, no working. I check this shunt resistor to see if it's broken and uh, make fake overcurrent to the microcontroller, but this is good. And I believe that the problem is with uh, this optocoupler. They tell this microcontroller the beginning and the end of the movement and now let's measure let's power this up when I want to open or close Now let's measure the voltage on this optocoupler. This is common. As you can see, there is no voltage on the emitter LED, it's too small. There are two in series. and there is no uh, as you can see now if uh, we measure 
the receiver of the optocoupler. We have 3.3 uh, volts, it's good. And 3.3 volts is good. I uh, the pin of uh, emitting LED goes through a 100 ohm resistor, and uh, here in this pin of the microcontroller, I believe they uh, choose this solution for mag maximum efficiency and low current consumption. They uh, light this emitting diode only when uh, we have uh, open or close and not uh, these are not uh, lighting all the time and I will make a trick and I will put 3.3 uh, volts here instead of this output of the microcontroller and let's see what happened now first of all I will break the circuit to the microcontroller now let's measure it seems it's good so now this wire doesn't reach to the microcontroller and here I have 3.3 volts and uh, I will make a connection now let's check the connection Everything seems good. Now let's power up and uh, let's check the voltage to the emitting LED. I forgot to tell you that I put this uh, connection after limiting resistor. This is common and we have 2.3 volts, it's good, 1.1 volts and 1.1 volts. Now let's see what happens when we open and close. It's still not working. Now let's check the voltage on the receiver LED. As you can see, we have uh, 100 millivolts with this closed. Now it should work. Let's turn this motor. Maybe it's not synchronized. It seems uh, still not working. 
but uh, I want to show you something. When I try to repair this, I press this uh, re reset button. Let's press it. And now, when I try to open or close, doesn't recognize this remote. And uh, now I will show you how we can pair, pair the remote with the unit. First of all, we take the battery out. And after we put the battery, we press uh, these two buttons of the remote uh, simultaneously. And now let's check if it's working. It's not working because I uh, did something wrong. So I try it again. What you have to do, take out the battery, put uh, the arm on a low position, connect battery and press two buttons of the remote. Let's try again. Let's check if this is on low position. It's not on low position. It's on high. Let's put this on low. Now it's on low position. Let's try again. So put the battery on and press and now let's see I forgot to put the motor back Now let's see if the remote is working. As you can see it uh, recognizes the remote. Even uh, I didn't repair this, but at least you learn how to repair to pay your remote with the unit after reset. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.